Hello, and thanks for checking out the Sirius Robotics and Technology channel. Today, we're looking at the ABB IRC5 robot controller. This is a short video. We just want to cover a couple of things that are really important. And the first thing we're going to look at here today is how to select a line of code to execute it. A very simple process, but it's always good to know the basics before we get into the advance. So as we see right here, as we're looking at this code I'm, I'm in a routine that I created and inside this routine I have an absolute joint move to a home position followed by a joint move or a move J to a P1.1 a move J to P11 move J to P21 and we finish up with a move J to P31 and then the robot returning home so just a series of five short motions now if my robot is here or if I'm jumping into this routine the way that I can tell if I have this routine selected or if I'm ready to run this routine is by looking on the left over here on the left over here I do not see one of the most important things and that's the program pointer if the program pointer is not over here pointing at the line of code then that means when I press the play button here when I engage the dead man and press the play button, it very possibly would run another line of code wherever my program pointer happened to still be at. So to avoid that issue, the best thing to do is whenever I want to run a line of code, I'm always going to select that line of code. And we do that with the process that we find under the debug button at the center of your toolbar at the bottom here. The debug button, we tap it, and it'll pop up a menu here with multiple different options. And over the course of these tutorial videos, we're going to cover every aspect of this pendant. This is just the start of it. So here, I want to select this line of code to run it. So the way that we can do that is by using this button up here. PP to cursor. PP stands for program pointer and that's the program pointer or run point arrow. A lot of different names that people will use. Here is my cursor. Whenever I tap a line of code like here then it's going to highlight that entire line. That's my cursor. If I want to run to this line here, I want to bring the robot to P21 so I can make a change or something, it's really easy to do. I tap it and put my cursor here. Now that my cursor's here, I can hit my debug button and select program pointer to the cursor. So when I tap it, I got an error. And the reason I got this error is because I'm trying to move my program pointer from one module to another module and this is a really good error to see this is actually intentional this is a good error to see because this is a very common issue that we run across when we're trying to go from one module to the next and run one routine so I'm just going to acknowledge this and to be able to run this program here or run this line of code I'm gonna have to use another button called PP to routine program pointer to routine or basically it puts the pointer to the routine I want to run so when I click this button, it takes me to my routine list, and here I see test routine. So I select the one I want to run. In this case, I want to run the test routine. So I select it, and now I'm inside the test routine. And here, as you can see on my, uh, on my version of software here, I've got actually got a purple arrow um, on the 5.0s and a couple other versions. You're going to see a big yellow arrow there. But depending on your version of software, the little coloring may be different here. But this tells me what line of code is going to be executed when I press my play button or my step forward button. Step backwards dangerous. We're going to look at that later. But step forward or play is going to execute this line of code. The robot's going to make an absolute joint move to a home position. So now I want to move around though. I want to go to P21 down here. So I'm going to tap P21, highlight it. And then I'm going to move my program pointer to my cursor. So notice here that it moves my program pointer to my cursor. So now all I have to do is engage the dead man. In this case, I use my enabling switch. And I'm going to press step forward and you can see the robot here, the robot icon popped up and that tells me where my robot is at. Since I executed that line and since I'm on a simulator and these points don't actually exist, the robot didn't truly move, but the robot icon tells me this is where the robot is positioned. The robot is at P21, but since the robot made it to P21, the reason the program pointer is on the next line is because the robot made it to this point. Now that it's at P21, since I was executing the code step forward, when I use my step forward or my play forward, then my program pointer moved to the next logical line, which is the next line 
sequentially speaking. So now if I were to press play again, it ran the next line. And notice how it both moved. But I hope that helps out. And I'll make sure to keep an eye on the channel because we got a lot more interesting stuff coming out with the KUKA KRC2s, the KUKA KRC3s, the KUKA KRC4s, the newer ones, and with the touchscreen pendant. Got a lot of good information on those, and along with a lot more on the ABB IRC5. And this is going to be a really good series. We're going to go through everything on this entire pendant and everything in the Robot Studio software here. So if you watch the entire series, which is going to take a while to get them all out, but we will cover all of the different aspects and different technology packages that this system does offer. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the videos to help the channel grow. The faster the channel grows, the more I'll be able to actually put out. And I want to get a robot very soon. So make sure to check out the Patreon link below and uh, check out our social media accounts too. Uh, we are a growing business here and going to be offering a lot more including in-depth lectures demonstrations with robots and not just robots but all aspects of technology so thanks a lot for watching and for now serious robotics out